Achieving high yields in your table grape vineyard is important in terms of profitability and the overall success of your business. Yield management requires an understanding of how bunches develop on a grapevine and the factors that affect both the number and size of these bunches. This short Inno Grape video aims to provide you with some practical information on the cycle of yield development and ways that growers can assess bud fertility during the dormant period. Flower formation in grapevines, like most other spring flowering perennials, commences by forming their flower buds in the preceding growing season. This period is about 15 to 18 months before harvest. Flower buds, also called inflorescence primordia, begin to develop in latent buds located in the axils of leaves on the main growing shoot during late spring and summer before entering a period of dormancy. The formation of inflorescence primordia is key in determining the potential yield a vine will produce for the following season. The number of potential bunches per bud is commonly referred to as bud fruitfulness. During winter, dormant buds are covered by a protective layer of hairs and enclosed within a scale to protect it from the harsh cold winter conditions. In the spring, bud burst occurs and as the bud grows, flowers are formed during a short period spanning bud burst. The number of flowers formed on an inflorescence determines the bunch size and the number of berries that a bunch may have. It is common practice in table grape production to dissect dormant buds to assess fruitfulness and bunch number per node. This method requires a dissecting microscope and a detailed knowledge of bud anatomy to interpret and describe the relatively small translucent structures that are the bunch primordia. Estimating bud fruitfulness by microscopic dissection has the advantage of providing immediate results. While some training and patience is required, most people could undertake these assessments if they so wished. There are also agronomy consultants who undertake bud dissections on a regular basis. When collecting buds for assessment, ensure that only the buds that are likely to be retained at pruning are sampled and dissected. For instance, if the vineyard is to be spur pruned, one would only collect from the lower nodes. However, if the vineyard is to be cane pruned, longer canes would be collected and both higher and lower nodes would need to be dissected. A bud dissection service will dissect buds on a representative sample of spurs or canes and provide a grower with an estimate of the mean fertility at each node position along the canes. Growers are then able to compare results obtained over successive seasons to determine relative bud fruitfulness. Bud fruitfulness may be affected by other factors, including primary bud necrosis. Primary bud necrosis is a condition where the primary bud in the compound bud dies. This results in reduced bud fruitfulness and a lower number of bunches observed in spring. Bud necrosis is common in susceptible varieties like Thompson seedless and flame seedless. Incidence is highest at basal nodes and the condition has been linked to canopy shading, high shoot vigour and high levels of soil nitrogen. Bud mite may also reduce fruitfulness because they feed on the developing bunch primordia. Bud dissection during the winter period is useful for vineyard managers to help predict yield potential and make decisions about pruning methods to adjust fruit yield. However, it is important to understand that in most cases, not all buds burst in the spring and this can also influence yield potential. Remember, a table grape grower's ultimate goal is to improve profitability and the bottom line. Assessing bud fruitfulness and adjusting pruning practices are essential to produce high and consistent yields on an annual basis. This video is brought to you by InnoGrape, a table grape extension program supported by the Australian Table Grape Association with funding from the Foundation for Rural and Regional Renewal and the William Buckland Foundation.